Who would ever think that gratitude would be controversial? I am telling you, I've been in this cancer universe for 24 years already as a stage four survivor. And one of the heated topics is how are we supposed to be grateful that we have cancer, especially stage four cancer? So I just want to explore this, but I have to start with a joke because I saw a cartoon that really made me laugh. It's by Randy Glassbergen. So you have to visualize a psychologist and a patient. The patient's lying down on the couch and the psychologist is writing and the bubble says, I'm trying to develop an attitude of gratitude, but the best I can muster is a sentiment of resentment. (laughs) I think we've all been there. How could you not? Anyway, I just wanted to start with that because I actually do get annoyed at how effortless people assume that gratitude should be while you're going through cancer treatment. Now, I've had a pretty incredible journey with cancer. I did beat stage four cancer. I started the Comedy Cures Foundation for my chemo chair, my first chemo treatment, And I've been able to bring comedy to over a million people worldwide. Our programs have been really successful. So I do feel grateful. I did get to get married. I've been able to see my daughter grow up. These are all miracles. So I am truly grateful. It's just sometimes hard to find that gratitude when you're just diagnosed or when you keep getting bad news. So I really honor the emotions around gratitude and the way people just throw at us, keep a gratitude journal, just keep a gratitude journal. You'll feel grateful. It'll all be okay. (laughs) So not true. And I've done episodes on gratitude. I actually had a really interesting guest on who recorded her experience with a gratitude journal, and it was very, very positive. But I do want to look at this other side, and I want to honor that for a minute before I actually go in the other direction and tell you about a gratitude challenge that was sent to me that seems pretty cool. So if you are feeling resentful about your cancer and you can't see one element of gratitude in this whole thing... I feel your pain, and I just want you to know that you are not alone in that, and I want to share something with you that might help us get to the next stage of not only accepting what we're going through, but trying to find some of the blessings in a very, very intense process. So years ago, I ordered a book from The Dragon Tree where I could reflect different thoughts and emotions. It was one of the best journals I'd ever seen. Recently, I got an email from Brianna at the Dragon Tree, and the subject was Amplify Your Joy. The three-day gratitude challenge begins tomorrow. Well, that intrigued me, so I opened up the email and I read it more because I'm all about joy and quality of life and gratitude. So as I went through the email, I saw that they were for a very small price inviting past clients to join this experience. And as I read further, I thought, "Mm, this is so well stated. I'm just going to give them complete props for what I got on my inbox. And I want to restate it to you instead of me rephrasing it I just want to give it to you the way they gave it to me because I think it's one of the coolest overviews on gratitude and action that I've ever seen. And that's what they say. This is a three-day gratitude and action challenge. And I'm really considering doing it because I can always learn more. I can always be more grateful. I can always feel more joy. And when somebody's gone to this amount of trouble to manifest a project like this, 
why not help support it? By the time you hear this episode, this could have already started. So I just want you to know that they do have a journal that I've purchased in the past, and I'm sure they're going to do this challenge again. I just love the concepts, and so I want to help share their message because I think this can help us all. So they say gratitude isn't just an act. It's a nurturing balm for our souls and that they provide gentle reminders about the undeniable benefits of gratitude. Here goes. They say gratitude makes you happier. There are endless studies that say that journaling can really help you feel more grateful and improve the quality of your life. They say that journaling improves your relationships, that it increases your self-esteem, it reduces depression and anxiety, it enhances brain function, it makes us more resilient, it expands the spiritual dimension of our lives, meaning if we have a relationship with our creator, we can be more in touch with those feelings and those emotions and not so locked into the physical world. It makes us more generous. It lowers our blood pressure, enhances our sleep, increases our likelihood to exercise, and it improves our overall health. Lastly, in this email that I got, which is the reason why they're saying everyone should do their gratitude challenge, It diminishes the weight of our burdens, and it really helps us focus on what we have to appreciate, and it has a simultaneous effect to lessen the intensity of whatever we're struggling with. Dragon Tree quotes, gratitude gives us so many gifts, but the biggest reason to choose gratitude is because life is a gift, and each one of us has the power to choose how we relate to it. I thought that was an incredibly compelling reason to really start focusing on gratitude. I felt that they went deeper in explaining why gratitude was so important to practice than all those superficial little emails that we get about gratitude. And I felt that it made the case especially if we're going through cancer treatment and things don't feel so perfect and life is super hard and you can be scared and sick and anxious and depressed, gratitude might be a lifeline, a breath of fresh air in a very sometimes claustrophobic and paralyzing time. So I'm willing to try it way beyond anything I've ever done before in the gratitude space because I think the way they presented it is so thoughtful. How will you start looking at gratitude differently now? Do you think you're ready to start a gratitude journal? I don't do a specific gratitude journal. I just think of three things in the morning that I'm grateful for, and three things before I go to bed that I'm grateful for. I don't do a specific journal just for gratitude. I think it's important to write them down because there's something about the transference from the brain to paper, from my brain through my hand to a pen to a page, and then my eyes reflecting upon that that makes it even more multi-sensory for me. That's just me. I'm a very visual person. But just thinking about in little, small, incremental steps, how to integrate gratitude into your day in a meaningful way so that it doesn't just feel obnoxious. And that's the way a lot of (laughs) those gratitude messages felt to me like a little bit obnoxious, especially for people who've never been through cancer treatment. So I hope this makes you curious. Beating Cancer Daily is a story starter. It's quick. 
it's just little nuggets for you to think about and to try. And I love to hear how it goes for you. So please go to the Comedy Cares Foundation, comedycares.org, hit the record button and just tell me, how is your gratitude practice going? Is it hard for you? Did you find this helpful? And if you don't like speaking, just go to the contact button and write to me. I really love your feedback. I'm going to do this challenge. I hope that you enjoy their journal product. And if they do the challenge again, that you jump on the challenge. I really tried to honor their email by giving you a very comprehensive view of how they approach gratitude. I really seem to be drawn to Randy Glassbergen's comedy about gratitude. <laughs> so I I think I'm going to bookend this episode with another joke from Randy Glassbergen. Again, a therapist with a patient on a couch. And the quote says, every day for me is an uphill struggle. On the positive side, it's great for my glutes. <laughs> That's really a positive approach. Have a blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow.